What you guys got another video here for you. Windows updates not working. Do this what I show you here to try to fix your Windows updates. You can see my Windows updates is failed. I'll run a Windows updates check right here. And you can see it starts to download. And once it starts downloading, it just fails. And then we get the error code right here. 0x8000, 4002. That is the error code right there. And I'll show you how to fix this. Now, it could be another type of error code. And you can still use this particular method to try to fix and resolve your updates failure, just like you're seeing on the screen right here. Now, when showing fix it videos, I do try to show you an actual error and showing you how to fix it. That way you'll know whether it works or not, rather than just making stuff up and just uh, showing you a fix that might not work. So we have a problem here and we're gonna go ahead and try to fix it. So first thing, what we're gonna do here is we're going to open up command prompt and we're gonna run a bunch of commands inside there. Now, what we wanna do here is we want to stop a bunch of services here, which is the Windows Update service. Uh, and you can see here, Crypt service and bits and MSI service. And then we want to rename the Catroot2 uh, folder. And we also want to rename the software distribution folder. This is where all of the Windows updates come down into that folder. It may be corrupted. And what we're gonna do is run these commands here to try to fix that issue. So let's open up command prompt by typing CMD in a search and run this as administrator. And we need to stop the services first so we can rename those folders to .old. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy these right out here. And there is programs that will do this as well, but we're gonna be using the command prompt for this one. So let's go ahead and push enter here to stop the bit service. And you can create a batch file to do this as well. I've shown you how to do that in the past. But let's go ahead and do the last one here. And now we can put the rename, and this is gonna rename the software distribution folder to software.old. And that way, when we do an update, it's gonna create new folders for us inside there. If there's any corruption or any corrupt files inside those folders, the update will not come down. So we're gonna go ahead and rename those two. And once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and restart these services once more. So let's just type the commands in. So you can see net stop uh, Windows Update Service, and now we're doing net start Windows Update Service and so on. So we're gonna go through and start all of these services. Once we've uh, done that, we can then go ahead and we can do some other things to try and fix this issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and push enter here. And there we go, that's now done. So that part is now taken care of. We've now created two new directories called catroot2, and we've also got a software distribution folder. Now we need to restart the system. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And once that's restarted, we've got a couple of more things we can do before we can try our Windows updates. So I'm gonna go back here and go to services, and we wanna make sure a particular service is running. So make sure that we go inside here and we're looking for the actual background intelligent transfer service make sure the startup type is set to automatic delayed start and make sure that service is running and you can see mine is running and it's important that is running because if it's not then you might not be able to get the update to come down next we're going to go to start button again and we're going to type cmd one more time run this as administrator and we've got a couple of more commands that we need to do. So first let's check for some corrupt files. So we're gonna go SFC space forward slash scan now. And hopefully once this has been completed, we probably will see some corrupt files. And there we go, it successfully repaired them. It did find corrupt files and it's repaired them. So that's good. So now we're gonna do one more command here, inside here. So I'm gonna type this one out right here, D-I-S-M and then space forward slash online, and then space forward slash cleanup dash image. And then we wanna do space forward slash restore health, all one word, just like so. And then press enter. And this will go ahead and it will uh, do what it needs to do. It does take a bit of time. I've speeded this process up and you can see the restore operation completed successfully. So now we can exit out of 
the actual command prompt window. And we've got one more file which I want to download from the Microsoft Update catalog. So from the top window, you want to type up there KB503-3920. Uh, Push enter. And what we're looking for here is we want to download the version right here for Windows. So we've got 23H2, and that's the one you want to go for. If you're on 22H2, then download the 22H2 version. Once that's downloaded, you can accept the terms and go ahead and install that update on the system. So you see it's being installed right now. And you can restart the PC after this if you want to. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and once this is done, we're going to go ahead and check our Windows updates to see whether it works. So let's go ahead now and go to the start button here and go to the settings panel and go to Windows updates. We can click on retry all. And this will go off and try to check for Windows updates. Now, it might take a bit longer because we did rename those folders and we just have to be patient and let it do its checks. But once it's done its checks, it's going to then start to try and pull down those Windows updates. So be patient and let it do its thing. It might take a while. And you can use this method to, to fix other error codes with Windows updates. So if you're having some sort of other sort of error code with Windows updates, you can use this method to try to fix and resolve a lot of those Windows updates issues that you might be having. We're on Windows 11, uh, 23 H2, but this also works with Windows 10 versions as well. And you can already see now that the updates have now started to come down and they've started to install and they have started to complete. So at this stage, we need to wait until the Windows malicious software Removal tool is installed and that might take a bit of time. And we've got one more pending installation there as well. But one of them did download and install, which is actually a very good sign, meaning that the fix has worked for this particular issue. So I'm just going to let this finish off in hope that it fixes it. And now we can see we do have three completed ones here. I can check one more time and uh, see if there's any more updates available. I will need to probably restart the system. Yep, I do need to restart. But you can see all of them updates have now been completed and they've been uh, installed on the system. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use here and help you fix and resolve your Windows update error codes. Hopefully these fixes will stop you from having to keep reinstalling Windows every time you get an error code. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group I really do appreciate the support with your tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate it. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.